let us study what is angle of departure and angle of arrival so in root locus whenever you encounter with uh, complex poles or complex zeros then at that time you need to find angle of departure or angle of arrival in case of poles you need to find angle of departure and in case of zeros you have to find angle of arrival now what is uh, exactly angle of departure and angle of arrival is so uh, here there is a com uh, two complex poles i am not solving the prop uh, total uh, or complete uh, question i am just giving you what the, uh, the concept in this video so suppose there is a complex pole this pole has the value minus 1 plus j minus 1 plus j and this pole has the value minus 1 minus j you know that root locus starts from the zero and ends at the oh sorry root locus starts from the pole and ends at the zero or it starts from pole or and or end ends at the infinity so uh, if this is a complex pole then root locus starts from the pole so from which quadrant it departs so root locus will start from the pole and end it at the zero or end at the infinity so if there is a complex pole then from which quadrant it departs is a angle of departure and in case of zero at which angle uh, uh, at which quadrant the root locus arrives that is called angle of arrival so for finding angle of departure first step suppose you have to find and one second for complex poles only complex poles or zeros only you have to find the angle of departure or angle of arrival for real poles or uh, real zeros there is no need to find the angle of a, a departure or arrival so first step is suppose you have to find the angle of uh, departure at this pole so first connect this pole with a remaining poles or zero okay so uh, there are three poles so connect we are connecting this with remaining poles or zero so this is another pole first step clear connect at which angle you at which pole you have to find the angle of departure connect that with other remaining poles and zeros after that you have to measure the angle of these lines with respect to positive x axis so this angle you have to measure this angle you have to measure and for this case you have to make this is the line now so you have to measure this angle so second step is this so first step is at which you have to find the angle of departure connect that pole with other poles or zeros and you have to find the angle of that line with respect to positive x axis positive x axis is important okay so uh, first we'll uh, find this angle so this value is 1 and this value is minus 1 minus 2 is that is 1 so this angle is tan inverse of 1 by 1 that is 45 now this angle for this angle again this is 1 and this is minus 1 minus 3 that is 2 so tan inverse of 1 by 2 so that is I think uh, tan inverse of 1 by 2 is 26.56 so 26.56 and this angle no need to calculate it is 90 degree so this is 90 degree okay after that you have to use the formula this one phi d equal to angle of departure 180 minus summation phi p minus summation phi z now what is summation phi p summation phi p is uh, uh, po how many remaining po uh, po how many poles are there excluding this pole there are two po poles 
so this angle is 26.56 and this angle is 90 so add the these two angles so summation 5p is this one 26.56 plus 90 degree summation 5z is zero angle is this one that is 45 so 45 then 5d is equal to 180 minus summation 5p is this one and 5z is this one so you are getting angle 108.44 okay so you got the angle of departure so here I once again draw the diagram so so this is the pole at which you have to you have uh, found the angle of departure so at that pole you make the axis now this is 90 and 108 will be in second quadrant so this root locus will depart from second quadrant now what about the angle at the other pole because poles are complex so angle at the other pole is if this is 108 then this is minus 108 so minus 108 is you know that whenever you have to find the uh, whenever the angle is negative then you have to go clockwise 0 minus 90 minus 180 so it will depart like this because minus 108 will come in this quadrant or whenever there is a complex pole if it is going upward then um, uh, second pole's uh, departure is downward Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you.